Hello everyone, I'm Jack Fisher and welcome to my world. And by fluke or fate, I've tied that world to the prospect of a reboot of the Ultimate Marvel Universe. It started as just a small idea that evolved into multiple videos, complete with elaborate visions of how this rebooted universe could potentially unfold. But now, the time for speculation and theories is over. The first steps towards a real rebooted Ultimate Universe has officially begun. Because Ultimate Invasion number one has been released. And since I've been following the story so closely since it was announced, I think it's only fitting that I delve into the first issue. As such, I will be covering major spoilers, so if you want to check the issue out beforehand, here's your chance. That said, whatever does happen with this series, we already know the endgame. It was announced weeks before this issue came out that the end result would be a new Ultimate Universe. How we'll get there, what form it'll take, and how Ultimate Invasion will lead into it, that we don't know yet. But the road to that larger story begins in this issue, courtesy of Jonathan Hickman and Brian Hitch. Fittingly enough, the main catalyst is one of the few remaining survivors of the previous Ultimate Universe, the Maker, aka Evil Reed Richards. This is a character that Hickman developed heavily during his ill-fated run in the previous Ultimate comics. He more than anyone showed just how dangerous and devious the Maker could be if left unchecked. Well, in Ultimate Invasion number one, he proves that he's still dangerous and devious, even when you think you have him contained. The story begins with the Maker being imprisoned within damage control. It's even implied that there was a concerted effort to reform him, to help him become a less broken person. But they failed. Alternate universe or not, he still read Richards. He still outsmarted them all. And thanks to a strike team that he convinced to rescue him, he escapes. But this time, he has much bigger plans. His cunning and his deviousness really does show here. Because it's not enough for him to just escape. He also has to keep the rest of Marvel's mightiest heroes distracted just long enough for him to make his move. And he acts quickly and boldly to say the least. In a sequence that shows just how dangerous Reed Richards can be on his own, he scours the Marvel Universe, stealing powerful artifacts with little to no effort. He takes vibranium from Wakanda, Terrigen spheres from the Inhumans, a Krakoan gate from the X-Men, and advanced tech from one of Tony Stark's safe houses. Eventually, Marvel's Illuminati do take notice. They realize that they're not up against some run-of-the-mill supervillain. This is Reed Richards. This is one of the smartest minds in the multiverse. And this read is not restrained by family, friends, or an intact universe. Outsmarting and outwitting him is not going to be easy. But the Maker's agenda isn't without some personal moments. In one scene that was already teased in earlier previews, he seeks out the other remaining survivor of the former Ultimate Universe, Miles Morales. And this exchange here is probably one of the most revealing of the whole issue. It's one of those moments where Reed says a lot to make a very simple point. Unlike Miles, he feels the loss of his former world. He feels the pain of his entire universe being erased. Whereas Miles has forged a place in this new universe, the Maker wants no part of it. He wants to go home. He doesn't say how he'll do it or what it'll entail but he does offer Miles a chance to join him. However, Miles refuses, and he doesn't hesitate to refuse in the slightest. It shows the true contrast between these two characters. One is stuck looking to the past, while the other looks to the present and the future. One doesn't mind causing destruction to get what he wants, but the other has had enough destruction in general. Miles does get a chance to stop him, but he does make his point and the Maker goes on to make his. Using all that hardware he stole, the Maker creates this elaborate device that only someone like Reed Richards could make. The Illuminati try to act fast to stop him, and it's a solid spectacle. Brian Hitch once again does a masterful job bringing it to life. But it doesn't ultimately change anything. The Maker still succeeds in activating his device, and the Illuminati are just left to wonder and dread what he's about to do. It leads us to a real cliffhanger moment. 
and it starts with one of the most important moments in the history of the mainland Marvel Universe. The day a teenage Peter Parker was bitten by a radioactive spider. This iconic moment led to the creation of Spider-Man, someone whose presence would go on to have a big impact on so many events. But then, the maker changes it. He doesn't step on the spider or anything, he just takes it, saving Peter and changing his fate along with that of so many others. It's likely the first change of many, the start of a true remaking of the Marvel Universe. It sends the message that the Maker is willing to erase critical events and people in order to achieve his goal. If Earth's Mightiest Heroes are going to try and stop him from remaking his universe, then he'll see to it that they never become Earth's Mightiest Heroes in the first place. It also makes clear that he's completely willing to destroy another universe in order to remake his own. It's still not clear how he's going to go about remaking his universe or what kind of ramifications there will be from changing Marvel's history so profoundly. That only makes me more excited about the next issue. Overall, I really enjoyed this. It was a slow burn at first, but things really picked up as the maker made his moves. Ultimate Invasion number one succeeds in establishing the stakes, while also teasing the upheavals that are sure to come. It felt like the maker making the case that in order to rebuild one universe, another has to break. Even if we know where it ultimately leads, it's just a matter of how far this version of Reed Richards is willing to go. And ultimately, will it be worth it? That still remains to be seen, but I'll definitely be keeping an eye on this story and its many implications. Thanks for watching everyone, and thanks for joining me in my world. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, take care and stay safe.